Hello YouTubers, I'm Justin and today on Dash and Run I'm going to be having a look at the Kogan HD camera. Now this retails for about $45 on the Kogan site here in Australia. So I thought I'd get one in and have a look at it and I'm not expecting a lot from it for $45. So first of all let's just see what we get in the box. Okay, so this is everything you got in the box. You got a USB cable, you've got the uh, composite video out, a nice little bag to fit the camera in, a disc with some drivers on it for the camera and a warranty card, and then you've got the camera itself. So next, let's have a look at the camera itself. Okay, so this is the camera itself, and as you can see, there's not much to it. You've got a little uh, light on the front for video and stills, which is quite nice. You've got your stop-start button for recording. You've got a tripod mount. You've got some connectors here, which is basically an SD card, full size, a USB, and also the uh, AV out, which is just in standard definition. Now, if you open the screen out, you can see you've only got a, basically a two-inch screen. You've got a couple of controls here few more controls here and a speaker grill. So that's pretty much everything. Now this camera only does 720p, it doesn't do 1080p and uh, it supposedly does um, a reasonable job of still so it'll be interesting to see. So next what we'll do is we'll put the batteries in and we'll do some recording and still so you can have a look at it. Okay, so next let's load the batteries into this unit. Now as you can see it just takes three AAA batteries. Now they're not included in the box, um, so you just have to supply your own. And there's no special rechargeable battery, just normal AAA batteries. Um, so let's just load up the uh, batteries into the unit. As you can see it just takes three AAAs, um, put them all in. Like so put the lid on. So there you go. So next what we'll do is go and have a look at the menu on this unit. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual menu and everything on this camera. So if you open it up, you've got a button in here. If I push this button, this will bring up the uh, power screen and now we've got the display on. So now as you can see, we've got, um, we've got an image there and that's my finger and you can see I've got a little weeping angel. So on the top you've got basically the basic displays and if you push this button, you can remove them or turn the screen off altogether if you want to say power. Um, then the button below operates the light, so you've got the light on and light off. So basically that just turns that light on and off, that's all that does. Now the button below that is basically just to change the mode. So now we're in still mode and then you've got an audio record mode and then finally you've got a file mode to allow you to play back what you've recorded to the SD card so you can watch it. So we'll go back to video. Now on this side, apart from the power button, you have another button here, and if you push that button, that will give you the options to change the file size, the frame rate, metering, white balance, and then on the other side of the menu, you have sound and a few other options, as you can see, TB out and so forth. So that's pretty much everything. And then this bit here is just like a joystick pad to go through it. So now we've had a look at um, some of the menu features, which are pretty basic. Let's go and have a look at some stills and videos taken with this camera. Hello, I thought I'd just break into this photo video montage to do a piece to camera so you can hear the audio capabilities of the Kogan HD camera. So now you're hearing my voice recorded with the onboard microphone. Anyway, let's go back to the rest of the photo video montage and then the wrap up at the end of this video. OK, 
Okay, so there you go. There's a bit of a look at the Kogan HD camera. And for $45, it's pretty much a piece of crap. It's something I wouldn't buy. I wouldn't recommend. It's pieces just rubbish. It's shit. It's not a good camera at all. I mean, it doesn't really produce decent video quality. The stills are terrible. I don't even know why they bother selling it because it really just doesn't perform to the level that it should do. I mean, it's just not a suitable camera to get. So I can't recommend this to anybody. And if anybody's looked at this video, at least you've got an idea of what you're in for if you do really want to get one. I mean, it is very cheap, but maybe save money and get something a bit better. Anyway, I'm Justin. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.